All right, everybody. Hey, how y'all doing? Sorry for the wind, but let's get our next victim. Yep. Kid's car. Poor truck's getting pushed off. I got to get the car going again. So we're going to see how she starts. Well, I didn't realize how dirty their car was. Jeepers. All right. Let's see. Okay. Volume's off. Let's see if it starts like it did the other day. Oh, she. She's not happy. Popping, banging. I see that smoke go by, but yeah. Since it's dry out here for right now, I'm going to take this up and down the gravel road so the tires ain't all covered in mud. So we can put it in the shop. Yeah, the, it's dried up very nicely. I mean, let's look in the ditch. Yep. Way down there is about the only snow we got left around here. Until later this week, I guess. So alright, well I'm gonna oops. I'm gonna run this up and down the road, get the tires cleaned off and we'll get her put in and see what we can get done. Okay, well sorry about that. Uh <laughs> I need a shipping container or a semi-trailer or get my old wood shop fixed up out here and uh, yeah I the first attempt putting the car in here didn't go well I, it's tight first time I went to get out I got out stood up and I couldn't get out between the car and the door almost couldn't get back in so I almost was stuck there so I put it outside I rearranged I mean it's getting tight I got a path through there to the tools and uh, we got her in here I mean it's close and I'm gonna have to watch this but yeah it's close so yeah um so yeah and we got light here so and enjoy that but yeah this, what we done to this car a while back was uh brand new plugs and wires on it and new valve cover gasket up front and i took care of the leaking and after i got it in here now the oil is it's dirty but it's not milky so that's a good thing but um, I take this off. There's water in there. So, ooh, smells like gas too. Hmm. But anyway, uh, we're gonna pull the heads and then take and all that wonderful stuff. And see, we can't remember if we replace this intake or not. So, I was trying to get to it today, but. Like I said, I have a little bitty room, and uh, yeah, so these all, I might just say pretty soon, somebody make me a serious offer on those blocks and cranks and heads and just get rid of it. So, I see we got some codes on, the it's service engine lights on. But I'm not sure if I'm going to mess with that. And uh, Yeah, I've got a bunch. What the heck's going on here? That's not a good sign when you see a 
grease slung up. I think we've replaced the axle shaft in this car. Yeah, that's sealed. That must be from... Oh, yeah, that's all dirty. Okay, I was a little worried. I think we've already replaced the axle shaft, and neither one of us can remember if we've done the intake or not. No, oh, that's right. That wonderful crap with the exhaust. Boy, that looks really wet down in there. Anyway, we'll tear into it and see what we can get done. So, this is a 2002 Pontiac Bonneville that we're going to be working on. And, uh, I can't believe the difference this light makes. That's what I used to work with before. Now I'll be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Scary! Which, I would have liked to drain the antifreeze out of this thing. I got catch pan, so... And I can't remember this thing had to drain. But on this one here, we get to get new head bolts. Head gaskets. And I see 1A Auto offers a kit where you can get a brand new intake. And the head bolts and all the gaskets, everything to do this. So... I just hope all the bolts play nice. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, it's just been one of those days. Everybody tells me to take it easy, and that's kind of what it's been. I've not been in a real issue, a real hurry to do anything today. We changed the oil in the wife's car. Was going to change the oil in my truck, but realized I don't have that many miles on it. I thought I had more mileage on it. Oh, but when I changed the oil, well I've got more miles on the truck but I drove it for a while on the old oil that was in it. So that's what threw me off. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's time to give it up and go home. So tomorrow hopefully we'll be on that. Well, have to be on that because it's in here. It needs to get done so I can get the chop shops motor. So I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone this week. <laughs> oh. Yeah, time to go home. See you guys later. <laughs>